Eager to return to Lord Von Prong with the artifact in hand, Sergeant Orc wasted no time with protocol. Lord Von Prong, I have returned with the artifact. Lord Von Prong stared at the puzzling artifact. Its legend well known, but its purpose a complete mystery, and not the real reason he sought the hero Deathspank. What of this purple thorn? Lord Von Prong would ask. You did bring it to me as I instructed! Oh, how could Sergeant Orc have forgotten that one simple instruction? Was it the weight of its importance? Or maybe the heat of battle? Or maybe other dark forces were at work? But it matters not, for Lord Von Prong has little patience for those who cannot follow orders. Sergeant Orc begs for one last chance to kill Deathspank and return with his purple thong. But Lord Von Prong has another plan. A plan more cunning than the last. A plan that is sure to place the hero Deathspank's thong firmly in his grasp. Oh, yes! You look much more heroic now! What does a sword have to do with finding missing orphans, anyway? It's for the eventual photo op! Image matters! Here, take this bag. What's this bag for? You'll be needing it to carry the little buggers. Make sure to poke a few holes so they can breathe. The bag or the orphans? <laughs> I'll leave that up to you. Welcome back to Let's Play Death Spank. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I need to put a jump cut right here. Okay, that's better. Now then, I finally have a sword, as well as uh, another weapon. Huh, Hubrick's crappy fix-it job sword. I think it does exactly as much damage as my original sword did. Well, fuck all you people, I need to go over here and... See if I can still talk about Bessie, because it's kind of itchy, I think. See, he never said that Bessie was the sword, so I figure it was probably something else. Like this. Oh. Greetings, old man Ubrick. Oh well. I'll try not to obsess over it like I do with everything else. Goodbye, Ubrick. No, wait, I did talk to the, uh... To the mayor already. That was automatic. Greetings, random non-player character. Oh, hey there, protagonist. Deathbank, you must help me. The Greens killed my father. Well, at least they hurt his feelings pretty bad. Could you kill the queen at Fishing Lake and bring me its mating gland? I'll pull that gland right off the old girl. Yeah, you'll need this mating whistle to summon the queen. Queens are incredibly picky and only respond to the right frequency. I was just going to say, I hadn't actually seen any, uh, Green Queens. Greetings, Green Exterminator. I have no mating gland for you. Have you seen any missing orphans lately? No, but I did hear whiny sounds in the Enchanted Forest. What can you tell me about Lord Von Prong? Ooh, Lord Von Prong means business. Mostly the adventurer killing business. Well, mostly. See you later, Grim Exterminator. Greetings, Morose Man. I am Deathspank, hero to the downtrodden. Um, hi. I'm Pip and Apple, I guess. What were your parents thinking, naming you that? Probably the same thing your parents were when they named you Death Spank. Let's get to the part where you beg me for help. I haven't heard from my brother, Red Delicious. Is that his real name or his stripper name? He's a farmer in the village north of here. Could you find him for me? I'll locate your brother, Pip and Apple. I want you to find my brother, Red Delicious. I'm Pippin Apple. Whatever. I'll find them both if I have to.
So, uh, you can't tell, but in that last jump cut, uh, it's actually been a couple of hours. <laughs> I was whisked off into an impromptu journey with my own brother. What the hell was I doing? Ah, oh, family. Greetings, Armoryist! Let's see your weapon selection. My god. Oh! Before I do anything, I really need to kill those orcs. Am I even going the right way? Are you here to rescue me, mister? I sure am. Whee! Oh god. He actually meant it. Bag of Orphans. Bag of Orphans. Trademark. Serving your orphan bag needs for over 100 years. No, fuck no. I don't care that there's a diary page over there. This is not the right way. No, sir. You're dead! And you're dead as well! Who's laughing now, bitches? This is gonna take a while. So, how's it going, kids? Yes! The package for Bong was in there! Oh, hey, I can use that sword now. Sweet mercy. Look at all this junk. Okay, you go here, and you get fucked. I need to kill you. No, sir, not keeping this one anytime soon. Okay, uh, 450. I did really like this one. It does less damage, but you know, you can sustain the attack for a while. And that shit is important. Hey look, it even remembered what items I had equipped over on the side. Oh no, wait, uh... That was there. So 100... Huh, fair enough. Oh, wow. It's really convenient. Fuck. I have to go over the ones you have equipped to compare. I don't know how that works. Neat! Okay, that's much more straightforward. Oh, yes. the camera a little bit.
Made by science, for science. Oh, this is actually much better. Well, it's a little better anyway. Let's leave the creepy maternal one on. Love that description. Shame I never got to enjoy the entire Guardians set, but whatever. Now I get to do this. Hey, fucko. Good day, Bong. Do you know anything about the missing orphans? Sort of. A couple of customers from out of town said they heard an orphan in the Enchanted Forest. That's interesting to me, because the, uh... They said that Lord Von Prong's uh, hideout is past the Haunted Forest, not the Enchanted Forest. What would an orphan be doing in the Enchanted Forest? It's probably not there by choice. My guess is that dark forces are at work. The Enchanted Forest isn't, well, natural. I blame the Necromorphs. You seem pretty laid back, Bong. <laughs> yeah. I try to keep things on the level, you know? That's one of the great things about mixing my own potions. Can you tell me about any of your potions? Well, some will make you stronger, and others will make you faster. And others have the power to heal and protect you. What about the power to move you? What can you tell me about Von Prong? I know he lives in a giant castle on the other side of the haunted forest. So you think I'll find an orphan in the Enchanted Forest? Oh, probably. Just be careful out there. I'm not scared of a forest. Oh, I was talking about the orphans. Oh dear. I have a package for you from your little orphan helper. Thank you. Done. I have to go, Bong. Nice. Sorry about that. Oh, yes, and uh, what's his name? Had some quests. Nah. So then again. No, 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 no. It's unsporting. Greetings, old man Ubrick. Feel like reminiscing about the good old days? Boy, do I ever! This one time, this guy gave me a taco to fix his sword. <laughs> the damned fool! I would have done it for half a taco! Hmm. What did Lord Von Prong do to destroy your legacy? When you're a winner like I was, the public can't get enough of you. But one failure, they turn against you like a pack of man-eating turtles. So, you lost to Von Prong only once, and that ended your hero career? Well, technically, it was more like a dozen times. But it all happened within a ten-minute time frame, so I count it as one failure. Fair enough. So Von Prong is very powerful. Well, he defeated me, didn't he? I've studied 14 forms of ninjutsu. What a terrible world we live in when ninjutsu can't solve our problems. Oh, if I only knew then what I know now. What didn't you know then that you wish you did? Pardon? What didn't you know about your battle with Lord Von Prong? Oh, plenty of things. Like his favorite color? Which of the Three Stooges is his favorite? That normal weapons are ineffective against him? If he were a tree, which tree would he be? All lessons I learned the hard way. That seems like an important hint. 
the the, the weapon thing, not not the tree thing. <laughs> Any more exciting hero stories? I once slayed a dragon! Really? That's amazing! Well, I didn't really slay it. And it wasn't technically a dragon. What I meant to say is that I once kicked a cat! Any more fantastic stories of heroism? I once infiltrated a coven of vampires who were also vacuum cleaner salesmen. That sounds like it must have been exciting. Wait for it. Not really. It sucked on many levels. Aha! <laughs> I knew it. It sucked on many levels. Any more magnificent tales of valor? Did I ever tell you about the time I arm wrestled a mountain? Did you win? It was a draw. But I think the mountain cheated. <laughs> I like this guy. Any more gripping anecdotes of gallantry? There I was. Surrounded on all sides by bloodthirsty orcs. Then I was the king of France, and a woman and I had a leopard. Was this by any chance a dream? Nope. Why do you ask? You know, if you're impressed that they've made it this far without making an arrow in the knee joke, I would like to remind you that Skyrim wasn't released until 2011. Any more exhilarating retellings of intrepidity? I once bludgeoned a yeti in my underwear. How did the yeti get into your underwear? <laughs> One leg at a time. <laughs> Any more inspiring chronicles of courage? During my travels, I came across a secret so dangerous, so dark, it must never be repeated. I had to sell my sidekick just to find out the first three letters. Decades of searching at long last yielded the answer, which has eluded so many for so long. I know what the secret of Monkey Island is. That's okay. Not that interested. All right, suit yourself. Nice callback. I guess it's a callback to the guy's career, but it's just a reference in this context. I think The Secret of Monkey Island was the first one. It was always hard to keep track when they don't number them. The only one I actually have was uh, Escape from Monkey Island, which I think was the third one. You said you might have some side quests for me. Excellent! I sent my sidekick to a cave entrance to wait for me, and then forgot all about him. Could you go tell him to come back? He's gonna be a skeleton. I'm just saying. And we're running. Stupid barrel mocking me with its presence all this time. Wait a minute. Can I have a quest from you already? Hello again, Mayor of Pluckmuckle. I bring you an orphan. This isn't all the orphans, is it? I might have missed one or two. Oh, I'd really like to have all the orphans back together, if that's all right with you. More orphans means more publicity, and more publicity means more votes. Fair enough. Do you have any odd jobs I could do? Oh, you really are a morning go-getter, aren't you? Hmm. Oh, while I was dumping some recyclables into the garbage dump, I dropped my keys. You could go find them for me. I can find your downtrodden keys, fine mayor. Excellent! Excuse me. I think I saw something. I need to keep digging here. Oh, shit. Almost there.
Fuck. Nice. Wait, what did that say? The extra curve makes stabbing fun and educational. Surely you slash of the scimitar. Oh, crap. Dying. Dying. Corn dog. Corn dogs are not enough. I'll have another one. That should be fine. So what am I going to do with all these drumsticks now that I've got a ton of them and they're, you know, useless? Someone ate these, so I'm just gonna throw those out. I think I saw something. I need to keep. How dare you interrupt yourself! I can't shoot around the curvature of the world. Really awkward angle. Almost there. God damn, you guys do a lot of damage. Ice cream. How is a chizzard anyway? I think I saw something. I need to keep more Almost digging there. Timer went off just as those guys spawned. I want to see how much healing this actually does. Drumstick! Almost no healing at all by my current standards. Hmm. Problematic. Well, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Death Spank, when we continue our adventure in whatever this land is called. Later.